Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on Alistair Wonderland from Ever After High. This was a commission piece for a client who was looking for an upgraded version of Alistair. So in this video I'll be showing mainly a face-up and some final looks at the end. So the client was looking for, like I said, an upgraded version of the character because he was a fan of the movie. So I did a face-up and I rerouted the hair with some wheat alpaca and some highlights in ivory. I also did some painting of the accessories, but I don't show that in this video. But how I did that is I sanded down the uh, accessories and I painted them with some black chalkboard paint and then went over them with some different colors of brown and sealed them with some sealer. They turned out pretty good, so I wished that I had recorded that, but I'm getting better with making sure I record more of the process for you guys going forward. So I added a few coats of Mr. Super Clear and shaped the eyes. Just an FYI, in the end, we decided that we didn't like the shape of the eye a little bit the, where it drooped down at the outer edges, so I went back and shaped it more like an almond. So I just did a little bit of correction on the eye, so in the thumbnail and final pictures you'll see that it's a little bit different than how it turned out here but the rest of the face up that I'm doing uh, remained the same. So I was trying to do a combination of the character in the movie and also my style and also bringing it to life a little bit more than just the one-dimensional character in the movie. Or is that two-dimensional in those movies? <laughs> so the upper lid, upper lip, I made a little bit darker than the bottom. And that's partly because the character has the lip darker in the top and also because that's just what I tend to do. And then the bottom lip, I just added a little bit of blushing and then a darkened underneath it just to kind of hint at a bottom lip. Didn't want it to look like lipstick. So it did a lot of blending. So I took some liberties with the shading and not so much looking like the character, but just kind of following the mold. And always doing the shading on the ears. I really enjoyed working on this male. I've only done a few male dolls and they're just, they're not my favorite to work on. It's just, uh, I like to bring out extra uh, soft and feminine touches on my dolls. So I tend to just lean more towards working on girls, but I really enjoyed this one. He has like softer characteristics. I just really liked the look of him. So following the shape of the eyebrows of the character, I'm blending that in uh, using Pan Pastel and the products that I use on this face up will be in the description box below. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about those. I'm using a big Mod Podge soft brush that is just really good for brushing away the remnants of the eraser or any dust or whatever. I tend to like to use soft brushes to do that. I did give him some very tiny lower lashes and then I also ended up adding some false or some BJD lashes to the upper lid. I usually don't add eyelashes to the boy dolls but for this one it just seemed to work with the character his eyes were um, just the character itself looked like he had eyelashes upper eyelashes so it seemed to work well for me I think 
So gave him some blue eyes. And I went around the outside with sort of a sapphire color blue and then blended that out with some uh, with a baby blue color and then added a little bit of yellow to the center right underneath where I will add the pupil just to give it a little bit of interest dimension. And again, blending that out with the Derwent watercolor pencil. For the highlights, I'm using this sort of off-white color or almost a peach Derwent watercolor. And then I'm adding a little more detail with my Derwent metallic, which I continue to rave about these Derwent metallic watercolor or water soluble pencils. They just really add a beautiful pop to the color. And I think if you're looking to make your eye colors a little less muddy, then that that's really something that would be great to use and I I've used ink tents before but the ink tents doesn't seem to blend with watercolor pencils as well but these I think they are similar to ink tents but they do seem to blend pretty well as also so definitely recommend those I'm using a Faber-Castell watercolor pencil for uh, kind of toning down that dark upper lip it's a peach color. I just felt like it was just a tad too dark, so I toned it down a bit. And then in with the pupil. So I did add gloss to the eyes and lips on this character. And like I said, I added some eyelashes. And then we kept his uh, regular costume because the, the client that I was working with did want that character the character to remain as Alistair Wonderland but I did like I said I added some uh, paint or painted the accessories that he had a canteen and some boots that had some awesome uh, detail to them so it was really fun to customize those so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did I'd love it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you hadn't already and thank you so much for watching have a great day Bye.